welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some exciting news about one of the most unique Linux distribution out there. I am talking about the latest version of Nitrax 3.8, which just came out. This release is packed with cool features and updates, so let's break it down. First off, what is Nitrax and why should you care? Nitrax is a Linux operating system which means it's an alternative to Windows or Mac OS. It's known for being lightweight, fast and secure. It's based on Debian but with a twist. It doesn't use something called systemd which is a core piece of most Linux systems. Instead, Nitrax uses a system called OpenRC which is simpler and lighter. Another big thing about Nitrax is that it's immutable. Think of it like this. Most operating systems let you mess around with all their files, which can sometimes cause issues if you're not careful. But with Nitrax, the core part of the systems are locked down, so you can't accidentally break them. It's a great option if you want a stable and secure system. And if you love good looking desktops, Nitrax is built around the KDE Plasma desktop environment. It's sleek, modern and customizable. So what's new in Nitrax 3.8? Every operating system has something called a kernel. Think of it as the brain of the system. It's what makes the hardware, like your CPU and GPU, talk to the software. Nitrax 3.8 comes with the latest Linux 6.12 kernel, which brings better support for new hardware, improved performance and fixes for issues in older versions. If you got newer hardware, like a shiny graphics card or a fancy new laptop, this kernel makes sure everything works smoothly. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, this is great news. Nitrox 3.8 makes using NVIDIA hardware easier and more efficient. They've added something called NVIDIA Dynamic Boost, which helps balance performance and power usage, especially for gaming or heavy tasks. They've also included new rules called UDEV rules that makes it easier for the system to recognize NVIDIA devices. For you, this means fewer headaches when setting up your drivers. Nitrax 3.8 also comes with some handy new tools. Don't worry, I'll explain what they are. DevMem2 Imagine you're trying to look inside your computer's memory or even change something. This little tool lets you do that. It's mainly for advanced users who want to tweak their systems. MSR Tools This tool is for interacting with your processor's special registers. These are like hidden controls that let you optimize how your CPU works. Again, it's mostly for advanced users, but it's a neat addition. Policy Core Utils This one's a mouthful, but it's all about security. It's part of something called CE Linux, which is like a security guard for your system. It's not something you'll use every day, but it's there to keep your system safe. Now, if you're into gaming or just curious about how much power your computer is using, this one's for you. Nitrax 3.8 has added new features to work with Mangohood, which is like a dashboard for monitoring performance. If you have an Intel processor, Mangohood can now show how much power it's using. They did this by tweaking how the system access certain files that store power data. If you're rocking an AMD Ryzen processor, there is a new tool called the Xenergy Kernel Module that does the same thing for you. It's perfect if you want to see how efficiently your system is running. Installing Nitrax is super easy thanks to the Calamares installer. It's a graphical tool, so you don't need to type any scary commands to set it up. In this release, they've also added fixes for laptops. Some laptops had an issue where the clock would drift out of sync. Basically, the time will get messed up. They've added new settings to fix that. They've also cleaned up some old, broken settings to make the system run smoother. Nobody likes waiting for their computer to boot up, right? Nitrox 3.8 has made some changes to the OpenRC service to speed up the boot process. They reorganized how these services run, so the system starts faster. It's a small tweak, but it makes a big difference. One of the coolest things about Linux is the variety of apps you can run. Nitrox makes it super simple by focusing on tools like Flatpak and AppImage, which are modern ways to install apps. In this release, they've updated scripts for popular apps like Steam for gaming, Battles for running Windows apps, and HGL, a gaming tool. They've also improved how you can install apps like LibreOffice and Bach using app image files. Oh, and if you're running Nitrox in a virtual machine, like testing it on another computer, it will now give a notification. Pretty neat. If you have a Broadcom Wi-Fi card, you're in luck. 
Nitrox 3.8 has updated the drivers to support the Linux 6.12 kernel. This means fewer connections issues and smoother performance. So why should you consider Nitrox? The immutable system design means it's hard to mess up. If you like the idea of a system that just works, this is a great choice. OpenRC and the latest updates makes it snappy even on older hardware. The Calamaris installer and app tools like Flatpaks makes it easy to get started. KDE Plasma is one of the best looking desktops out there and Nitrox uses it beautifully. Whether you're a Linux newbie or a seasoned pro, Nitrox has something to offer. If you're ready to give Nitrox a shot, here's how you can do it. Head over to the official Nitrox website, just google Nitrox Linux. Download the live ISO file. This is like a snapshot of the operating system that you can run without installing. Create a bootable USB stick with the ISO file using tools like Rufus or Balena Etcher. Boot from the USB stick and try Nitrox before you install it. It's that simple. Nitrox 3.8 is a fantastic release that shows how Linux can be both powerful and user-friendly. From the latest kernel to improved NVIDIA support and handy new tools, there's a lot to love about this update. If you've been curious about Linux or want a system that's fast, secure and easy to use, Nitrox is definitely worth a look. And hey, if you're already a Nitrox user, let me know in the comments what you think of the new update. That's it for today's video, if you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future updates. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.